you will need to imagine this. Cool sister goes jogging and she gets tempted by a golden saxophone. So she keeps his sax. Watching undercover are a police constable and the boyfriend. Staphylococcus, Enterococcus, Streptococcus are aerobic positive. Klebsiella, E. coli, Enterococcus, Proteus, Pseudomonas, Haemophilus influenzae, Salmonella, Seracea, Acinetobacter xanthomonas are aerobic negative. Peptostreptococcus and Clostridium are anaerobic positive. Bacteroids and Fusobacterium are anaerobic gram negative. Penicillin G, beta lactamase antibiotics such as nafisillin, cloxacillin, oxacillin, and vancomycin work against staph, enterococcus, and streptococcus. Aminopenicillins work against staph, strepto, and entero, along with Haemophilus, Enterococcus, E. coli, and Pseudomonas. Carboxypenicillins work against Pseudomonas, Proteus, and E. coli. The Monobactam antibiotics work against Gram negative. Uridopenicillins such as Piperacillin and Ticarcillin, the Penems such as Monopenem and Carbapenem, and Imipenem have the broadest spectrum of activity covering all these organisms. First generation cephalosporins are active against staph, entero and strept along with pseudomonas. The second generation cephalosporins have a very broad spectrum of activity acting against streptococcus, Haemophilus, Enterococcus, E. coli, Neisseriae, Proteus and Klebsiella. They also act against anaerobes such as bacteroids. The third generation cephalosporins are used for gram-negative infections in the ICU. The fourth and fifth generation cephalosporins act against Pseudomonas and MRSA. The mnemonic is clean tag. Chloramphenicol, clindamycin and linozolate along with erythromycin act against 50S whereas the tetracycline, trigacycline and aminoglycosides act against 30S. Chloramphenicol, clindamycin, tetracycline, tigacycline have the broadest spectrum of activity covering all the organisms. Linozolate is active against gram-positive and anaerobic organisms. Erythromycin covers only the aerobic organisms having no activity against the anaerobes. Aminoglycosides which can be given only by the intravenous route and fluoroquinolones such as ciprofloxacin, norfloxacin specifically cover only the gram-negative organisms. Metronidazole covers the anaerobes and protozoa. One should keep in mind that while using broad-spectrum antibiotics, one doesn't require to use metronidazole.